Good morning guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, the idea of my video today is just about making espresso extraction. And I've noticed uh, some comments about my videos, especially the, the Pico Presso videos, that people are asking why do you have uh, much more crema than we get. So I'm going to use the same coffee, but actually one of them is older than the other. Okay, so that's the same coffee and one of it is just roasted recently, like uh, 10 days ago and the other one is roasted around two months ago okay that is uh, going to be our experience for today so i'm going to extract both of them today and show you when i make the espresso using the same settings exactly like i use the same machine the same temperature the same pot preparation using the force tamper and the duomo d8 for wdt and everything is just going to be the same that's going to use the, the vst 15 grams basket and we'll see together using the niche zero grinder what is going to be the extraction for each one of, of the two shots. So I'll start with this one, let's say this one. So I'm not going to do any RDT or anything because Niche Zero, Niche Zero usually doesn't require a lot of WDTing. Uh, yeah, all right, so. So sometimes after grinding with niche zero, you need to do some like billowing. So that's like uh, a billow that they use. It actually should be used for kids, but actually it works very well with the uh, niche zero as a plunger. So that's the coffee or the first one. So we'll do the quick pot prep now. Very simple pot prep. Just like that, and then we can. And we'll do the extraction and show you how the extraction is going to be with the first shot. I'm going to use the same cup. So you can also see how the crema looks like in both cups. So this is the temperature of the machine, almost 91. And I'm going to focus on the extraction right now, the bottomless extraction. As you see, very fast extraction. And of course it's not going to give any kind of good result. Very, very bad extraction. Very bad extraction in like 15 seconds or so. And that's how it looks. So I'm going to grind the second shot and show you. So I'm going to put the coffee in the grinder. So sometimes you have to keep the grinder going on like that because some more coffee is going to come that's remaining between the burrs. And that's it. That's the second shot. Let's see how the extraction is going to be with this one. Quick pot press as well.
So let's see together the extraction. And the temperature is almost the same, 90.3. So let's pull up the lever and see. Even though it looks a little bit slow, but of course you can see the difference if the coffee is fresh, freshly roasted, not very fresh, I mean like a few days after roasting, it will result into a creamy cup. You just need to give it a few days to degas, so the, the roasting uh, smell will go, and then the result will be a very creamy cup of coffee. So 38 seconds or 39 seconds, let's see, the temperature is not very far from the starting point and that's how the cup and the crema looks like in the second cup. So if you put both cups next to each other, the difference is very big as you see. One of them is definitely identified as having more crema because that's the fresher beans and the other one is the older beans. Sometimes, by the way, the older beans will taste better than the fresher beans if it's very fresh. Uh, so the taste of the smoky, uh, like roasting smell will be there still. Uh, but if you give it a few days, like I told, like I said, like 10 days, 2 weeks or so, it will start to give you very good smell and very good taste and you can identify the tasting notes. At the same time, you will have a nicely looking cup with a good amount of cream on the top. So if I try both of them, let's see. Chocolatey. The other one. Chocolatey but having a little bit more acidity. If I have to choose between them, I'll go for the one that's acidic more than the normal one. I think this one would be nice with the milk drinks and that one I can drink it like that. So that was our idea for today's video. I hope it was very clear for you that fresher coffee will give you nice crema. If you use a right grinder with the right grind size, so for me I used Niche Zero, a grind size I think 15, that's 15, yeah. Uh, this is it. So that's what I used for both the coffees. I think I need, for the older one, I need to go finer. So maybe if I grind another shot with it, I need to go like two or three notches more backside so that it can give me a little bit slower extraction. But anyway, even if it goes slower, uh, slower it wouldn't give uh, much crema like that one because that one is more uh, fresher and it has more uh, CO2 retained inside the beans. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.